Yeah, uh, Brooke Landau is in Del Mar at the Del Mar Antique Show. Hi, Brooke. What are you up to? Good morning, guys. We're here at the 53rd annual Del Mar Antique Show and Sale. What an amazing event that we have three times a year here in Del Mar. And with us this morning is Michael Grimes, the owner of the Antique Show and Sale. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about this for folks who are not that familiar. Well, I was nine years old when my parents started it back in 1960. So I've been in it since then, 60 some odd years, 53 years. Mm -hmm. um, we are the largest show south of San Francisco, indoor show. And we get dealers from all over. And these dealers don't have shops. They generally just do shows. They go from show to show, just like a gypsy would. And tell people what they can expect. I mean, you look around here, and there's such a mix of items. My mother coined the phrase, everything from Tim to Tiffany. You'll, <laughs> you'll see fine, fine estate jewelry in the thousands of dollars. You'll see comic books uh, for a buck or two. You'll see just uh, beautiful furniture and porcelain and pottery. Everything you can possibly think of. You know, I walked in here. Let's walk over here. I was walking in here and thinking, oh, this is heaven, because just a week ago I was saying how much I wanted an antique uh, tea set. And that's exactly where we're standing here. Look at these items. They're absolutely beautiful. What do things range in price? Oh, well, here you could have anything from a $13 teacup to a $65 teacup and on up into the thousands, depending on the maker and the age. How is it uh, being here in Del Mar and having the show here in San Diego? It's always been my favorite show. Uh, it's, it's so close to the ocean and it's so nice. Usually the weather treats us well. I, <laughs> I, I, we called I, it in for you. A, a year ago last January, I, we had hail. But uh, other than that, we've been pretty good, pretty lucky. All right, good. So you have some really great vendors here. We're going to talk to one of them, so I'm going to walk over here. We'll talk to you again in just a bit, Michael. Okay. Uh, but we have another Michael here who is a toy dealer. And i got to say, this might be dating myself, but it really brings me back looking at some of these items. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your booth here. All right. Uh, uh, I try to have a good cross section of everything from Disney to war, wreckage, Star Wars, uh, something for everybody, you know, from a young kid to us uh, baby boomers that are uh, looking around for collectibles. So I like to catch everybody and I like to keep the price range from a dollar up to a couple thousand dollars. But I have a lot of very rare things. Such, Show us a couple of them. Uh, rare. I have uh, first edition Mark Twain books. This is Life on the Mississippi, Mark Twain. And, uh, you know, getting back in the 1800s, 1888. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, very rare, which you don't see too much, I have uh, the first uh, Superman comic books from 1947. That's amazing. Right, they are. And you don't find too many of these around. And uh, then I also, a little bit on sports. Uh, this is for those guys that are sitting at home and want to get out and get a copy of the first Sports Illustrated. We've got one right here for you. And then, uh, what you don't see too much, uh, original newspapers from uh, World War II. This is uh, December wow. 8th, mm -hmm. right after Pearl Harbor. And then I have uh, what the GIs used to read, the Stars and Stripes. This is uh, an issue with the atom bomb right after uh, Hiroshima. Okay, well, great stuff. Uh, I wish we could see it all, um, but this is a nice little uh, treat into kind of seeing what you have here, and uh, folks can come on down and Good, see for come themselves. On come on down, come on down. I got something for everybody. All right, thank you so much, Michael. Now, uh, we were talking about prices just generally, but we actually have an appraiser here with us. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning. Tell us uh, what you do here at the show. Well, my and my, uh, myself and my fellow appraisers, we have a booth on the far side of the show floor, and uh, Anybody is welcome to bring in item or items that we can uh, look at and do some research on. It's five dollars per item, mm -hmm. and you generally can bring as many as you like. And this is one that's already been tagged, but people can right. bring in their own they stuff. They can bring from in home. their own things, either a family heirloom or something that they uh, have found in an attic or warehouse or something like that. But yes, we cover the whole gamut, and everything from jewelry to porcelains to uh, any kind of decorative art. All right, great. And you will be here Friday, Saturday, and exactly. Sunday as well. And you'll, ha you'll have four people crazy. Yes, actually. we'll have four people. My okay. associates are from uh, uh, Cover Your Assets, okay. which is you know, up in Temecula. And uh, appraising is one of their specialties. Okay, thank you so much, Kyle. All right, Michael, so tell us just real quick because we have to go here um, what the hours are and how much it costs to come to the show. Show hours are 11 to 7 on Friday and Saturday, 11 to 5 on Sunday. General admission is $8, but if they uh, go to our website, 
uh, calendarshows.com, they can get a 50% off discount coupon. Okay, and you have with you? Well, she wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, San Diego. <laughs> All right. A real uh, favorite here in San Diego, the Del Mar Antique Show and Sale. Come on down this week, and we'll send it back to you guys in the studio.